Bill Nyer and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. For our second example, we have dy dx equals y times 2 minus y times y minus 3. So we're going to find the equilibria, the eigenvalues, and check the stability of the equilibria. So again, we're going to set the uh, dy dx equal to 0. And this will give us y equals 0, 2 minus y equals 0, and y minus 3 equals 0. So y minus 0 is one of our uh, equilibrium, equilibrium points. And we have y equals 2 and y equals 3. So to find, um, to find the eigenvalues, we're going to set dy dx equal to g of y. So we're going to define this to be g of y. And then we're going to find g prime of y. So first, we're going to multiply out g of y. So we have 2y. Um, so we're going to use foil. Minus 6. Minus y squared plus 3y. And that will equal y times 5y minus 6 minus y squared. Multiplying the y through, we get negative y to the third plus 5y squared minus 6y. So now we can differentiate g and get negative 3y squared plus 10y minus 6. So to find each of the eigenvalues, we just plug in our equilibrium, equilibrium points that we found. So we're going to plug in 0, we're going to plug in 2, and we're going to plug in 3. So when we plug in 0, we get negative 6. When we plug in 2, we get... We get positive 2. We plug in 3, we get negative 3. So these are the eigenvalues. And to check if each equilibrium is stable, we see we check the sign of the eigenvalue. So if the eigenvalue is negative, then we have a stable equilibrium. And if it's positive, we have an unstable equilibrium. 